Hi friends, I'm so glad to see you all again. We have a great story today, but before we get started, we're going to do our memory verse, and it comes from Psalms 139, 14, and it goes like this. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Can you say that with me, friends? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's do it one more time. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Good job, friends. We have an amazing story, and it comes from my favorite book ever, and that book is called The Bible. It is amazing because it's about real people and their real stories that actually happened. So, today, our story is about someone very important, and that person is God. Can you point up to God with me? God! Good job, friends. He has an amazing story for us, and it's all about how he made us in his likeness. That means he made us to be like him. Isn't that, the, isn't that the coolest thing that you've ever heard? I think so. And no two people are the exact same. God even makes twins who look like each other, but they're different in their own special way. When we look around at all the people that God has made, we can see that some people are girls and some people are boys. Some people have red hair and others have black, brown, or blonde hair. God made people and everything about them. He made their fingers. He made their feet. He made their heads. He made every single part about you. He made your eyes, mouth, teeth, everything, even your brains. And speaking of our brains, God gave us very special brains which help us learn many new things. We can learn how to walk, talk, sing, tie our shoes, ride a bike, read books, put puzzles together. In fact, we're learning right now. We are learning that God makes all people. We are smart thinkers because God made us to be smart thinkers like him. And one of my favorite things about how God made us is that he made us creative. We are just so creative the way that we can paint, dance, sing, so many things. One last one. God made us have our own individuality. And that means we like to play with toys, read books, get creative with the way that we dress, our favorite animals, and even act out stories. It's one of my favorite things that he gave us. But another wonderful thing that God made about people is that he made us to help others. That's right. God made us to be helpers. We can be like him by helping others in any way that we can. I think it is incredible that God made us with such amazing bodies to be creative and help others. I think we should pray to him and thank him for all the ways that he made us the way that we are. So let's pray really quick. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them, open them, close them, fold them in your lap. Dear God, thank you for giving us a place that we can learn about you and about other people. Thank you for making us to learn and think like you. Thank you for making us creative like you and be just like you. In your name we pray, amen. All right, friends, thank you so much for listening to our story today. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.